Hello, this is Steve from the Free Bullion Investment Guide. Today is January 23rd. It's a little after 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, today I'm doing a review and outlook for the U.S. dollar. This is the U.S. dollar daily chart. Um, in my last video, I told uh, you that um, I was going to follow up with a video after these two, after either one of these um, patterns had been confirmed or denied. And the first pattern here that we have is a falling expanding wedge. It's not convincingly a falling expanding wedge. It actually kind of looks more like a channel, but um, it. I had a channel on here before in my last uh, written blog post and the US dollar broke above that uh, last Friday. And then last Sunday, I believe is when I posted my last video. And then just yesterday, the dollar closed above the new rising expanding wedge. Um, it didn't do it convincingly though. Uh, I thought, I believe I might have mentioned in my last video, uh, don't quote me on this, that I thought though that the dollar might continue ri rising up inside the rising expanding wedge. Now the falling expanding wedge is a positive pattern, the rising expanding wedge is a negative pattern. Um, so anyways, the US dollar broke the falling expanding wedge, not convincingly, and then it went ahead and convincingly <laughs> confirmed the rising expanding wedge to the bottom side as it is expected to do. Um, uh, now that it has done that, we can erase the rising expanding wedge because that has now uh, left the... Uh, left the chart for the US dollar. And what we do have is a new rising expanding wedge, which again is another positive for the US dollar chart. And I'm hitting there, there. Now I'm hitting my, uh, my top, my uh, trend lines right. So um, we have a new falling expanding wedge in the US dollar chart. Um, for the U.S. dollar's outlook, I believe in my last video I said that the U.S. dollar look, more so looked like it was going to be continuing to move sideways. Now, the one hypothetical, I did want to mention this hypothetical that I do see in the U.S. dollar chart here. I'll, I'll move this down here to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, what we could have happening here is an inverse uh, head and shoulders pattern. Here would be the... Um, left shoulder, the head, and then it matters what it does down here on this side. It could continue, the US dollar can, could continue to move down and then move up above the right, the falling expanding wedge, which would then make this upper trend line, the neckline. Um, however, time will tell whether that happens or not. Um, I mean, the US dollar doesn't look, there's no other patterns that I'm seeing in the chart but um, who knows? Uh, China could come out. Fundamentals always trump technical analysis. So either there could be more of a stalemate with the shutdown. China could just, uh, you know, just totally blow the 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 trading war further out, or we could too. I mean, anything could happen. So, uh, but if there is a change either with the shutdown or with the trading war, or if something else unexpectedly good happens for the US dollar, then we could clearly see a inverse head and shoulders here. And um, also the falling expanding wedge is a positive sign for the US dollar. So, um, and it may also start to contend here with the $97 resistance level when it breaks this. However, that's in the future. We'll see what happens. So uh, when that time comes, I will, uh, when either a new pattern shows up in the chart or the US dollar breaks this line, I will um, follow up with a new video. So until that time comes, thank you for your time and take care and God bless.